I'm worried about Wenshi. He was really mad that Midas has his father's wand. It took all of my powers of persuasion to convince him not to go chasing after Midas right then and there. In the end, I had to promise I'd tell Harry Potter about what we learned about Midas, since we have the earlier defense against the Dark Arts class. If I were in your shoes, I'd probably be upset to- Wait a moment. What's going on? Where are the training dummies? And not that I'm complaining, but why is the room filled with games and joke items? We thought we'd try something a little different today. Hmm. But why? With the Dementor attacks ramping up, isn't it more important than ever that we master our Patronuses? You'll see. Now go and have fun. Well, did you all have fun? Surprisingly, yes. To be honest, I initially thought this was going to be a waste of time, but it's actually helped me loosen up a little. <sighs> mm -hmm. Which is a problem, because it's critical that you be able to go to your happy place in order to cast a Patronus, even in the darkest of times. We hope this class was good practice for turning out any fear and pressure you may feel. Expecto Patronum! Nice job. You're making great progress. I still don't think it's enough. I've heard of a Patronus so powerful it could drive away a hundred Dementors. If only I could achieve that. You're closer than you think. Maybe what you need is the right moment to shine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need it elsewhere. Wait a moment, Mr. Potter. You and the other Auras are investigating the Dementor attacks as suspicious, aren't you? <laughs> Piece that together, did you? If you're fishing for information, I'm afraid I can't share any details about an active investigation. Actually, we have information for you. We have reason to believe that Midas Golvig, a, a dodgy businessman based out of Hogsmeade, is connected to the Dementor attacks. That's quite an accusation. Do you have any proof? When the Dementor attacked Honeydukes and everyone was in a panic, he seemed... pleased. He even smiled when it went after Wenshi, as if he'd ordered the attack himself. What's more, despite being in a shop full of potential victims, the Dementor specifically went after Wenshi. That's twice now Wenshi has been attacked by this Dementor. I'm curious, given the fact that Midas is currently trying to take over Wenshi's family business, don't you think? Wenshi's father's wand. I saw it in Midas' briefcase. It was a beloved family heirloom, so he'd never willingly part with it. Wenshi believes Midas stole it. I see. And do you have this wand on you? Well, no. But if you look in his briefcase, I'm sure you'll find it. That does seem like a lead, but unfortunately, we can't just search someone's briefcase without solid evidence. Even as an aura? Especially as an aura. Thank you for the tip. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Did you tell Harry about Midas? Yes, I pulled him aside after class. Let me guess, he gave you a polite but ultimately non-committal brush-off in response. Always so cynical, Wenshi. 
Harry Potter isn't one to brush off leads, especially not solid ones. Mm. <sighs> All we need right now is tangible proof that our lead is solid. Then the solution's obvious, isn't it? We just need to find some. You make it sound so easy. Let's not forget that if our theory is correct, this man is in league with the Dementor. Still, Ivy might be onto something. We already know Midas keeps when she's father's wand in his briefcase. And considering how negatively Midas reacted when I tried to help him gather the wand and the briefcase's other spilled contents, it's safe to assume he's probably got other things he doesn't want anyone seeing in there too. If we can keep Midas distracted, we might be able to grab the briefcase, collect the evidence we need, and get out of there while he's still none the wiser. Midas Gulvig may have more money than he knows what to do with, but he's still cheap. If I invite him for a free drink at the Hogshead under the guise of asking for an extension, he'll come. He also loves the sound of his own voice, so it shouldn't be too hard to keep him talking while you grab the case. Sounds like a plan. Midas isn't going to know what hit him. Taken the liberty of ordering us some drinks. Always happy to spare a moment for a loyal customer. Now, what can I do for you? Besides, take advantage of your offer of a free drink, of course. I was hoping, you, given the circumstances, you might consider an extension on the loan repayment. I wish I could, Wenchi, but this dementor nastiness is affecting my business as well. I'm afraid I just can't afford another extension. Hogwash! We both know. Sorry, look, I'll pay everything back. Just... Whoops! How clumsy of me. Don't worry, accidents happen. Now, about your proposal... When she must have spilled his drink on purpose to get Midas to move his briefcase! Brilliant! Let's not waste the opportunity he's given us. Grab it now! Well, that was anticlimactic. I was expecting the briefcase to be full of cursed artifacts. A copy of Magic Most Evil. Maybe even a bottle of poison. You know, dark wizard stuff. Doesn't exactly scream, I'm in league with a Dementor, does it? But there could still be something in here that incriminates Midas. Let's take a closer look. The language in these contracts is so dense. It's no wonder when she's father got suckered into taking out a bad loan. And according to these records, Scrivenshafts isn't the only shop in Hogsmeade that Midas is preying on. J. Pippin's potions, Dominic Maestro's music shop, even Honeydukes. He's got all these notes on their financials personal information about their owners, too. It's creepy and predatory, no doubt, but illegal or criminal? I'm not sure. Look at this quill! It's genuine phoenix feather! This must have cost a small fortune! When she did say Midas has expensive tastes and likes to flaunt his wealth. Well, this is interesting. I wonder what it unlocks. Wait a moment. Where's when she's father's wand? Midas must have gotten spooked after our run-in and stashed it somewhere else. Great, so we did all of this for nothing? Not necessarily. We may not have uncovered any hard evidence, but we did find a key. Perhaps Midas is using it to lock away something incriminating. 
even if that's true, and I do mean if, how are we supposed to figure out what the key goes to? We can't very well go around trying every lock we see. But if we don't hurry, it may very well leave us behind. Come on, let's return the briefcase, signal to Wenshi to keep stalling, and follow it. The key's finally snowing down. The lock must be around here somewhere. Wherever here is. Looks like some sort of ancient tomb. Or what's left of it, anyway. I doubt anyone's been here in centuries. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. You see those footprints? And that campfire is still smoldering. If I had to guess, I'd say Midas is using these ruins as a hideout. Is that a trunk? Looks like we found what the key unlocks. Now, let's see what Midas is hiding. There's... there's a person in there! Is he...? No. No, I see him breathing. He's in rough shape, but alive. How could Midas...? Why would Midas...? There's no time for questions. We've got to get him out of there into a healer. How? Even with the three of us, we can't carry a full-grown man with a thick brush of the Forbidden Forest all the way back to Hogsmeade on our own. Daniel has a point. It took us ages to walk here. We definitely need help. Auras would be perfect. This is the tangible proof we've been looking for. Midas is finished. Let's hurry. We don't know how much longer when she can keep Midas occupied. Wenshi? What are you doing here? How did you find us? Where's Midas? I wouldn't worry about all that. Not when you should be worried about me. Depulso! When she Ivy, are you all right? I'm pretty banged up, but I'll be all right. Honestly, I'm more worried about when she he's Flipendo. I don't know what's gotten into you, when she, but if you expected me to not fight back, you're sorely mistaken. Hold your fire. I recognize that look in his eye. When she's been imperious, someone's controlling him. Midas! I've got to admit, figuring out I'd imperious the Scriven Chef boy like that? You kids are smarter than you look. A shame you weren't smart enough to keep your noses out of my business. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Not unless you want Wenshi here to hurt himself. Or you. I see you found the last person who wasn't smart enough to mind their own business. Guess it's true what they say. Like father, like son. You mean the man in the trunk is... Dad. He's resisting the Imperious Curse. What? But that's impossible! The senior Scrivenshaft wasn't able to resist! Get out of... my head! Sendio! Side along apparition! Incarcerates. Expect no patroni. Orb of water.
A pug note. Lazy. Cindio. Expect a patron. All the water. Lacius. Expect a Sectum Sempro. A Pugno. Ivy, go and get Harry. Daniel and I will make sure Midas doesn't go anywhere. It's over, Midas. Give it up. You're right. It is over. For you. The Dementor! Don't worry, it won't attack you. Not until I order it to, anyway. It listens to you? I don't believe it. And yet, the proof is right in front of you. See, the Dementor recognizes in me a kindred spirit. We were both born lacking and take what we need to fill the void. When I asked it to help me expand my business, it was happy to oblige. It's a win-win situation, really. My cloaked friend gets to feast on all sorts of emotions in this quaint little village. While I get what I want, revenge. Who do you think will take over all the shops legally, mind you, when Hogsmeade becomes a ghost town? Naturally, I'm more than happy to deal with any insubordination, shall we say. The Imperious Curse is just one tool in my arsenal. You... you're utterly vile! Now that's uncalled for. Do mind your language when discussing my business acumen. So you imperious him, locked him away in a trunk, and made his family think he'd run out on them? I know it sounds awful, but it was nothing personal. After all, success requires sacrifice. Why are you telling us all this? You have to know you're only incriminating yourself. Why indeed. Perhaps I simply haven't conversed with anyone in a while. Lie, coerce, intimidate. Sure, but actually talking to someone is another matter. You're not fooling us with those platitudes. To each their own, I suppose. It's a pity you won't witness my takeover of Hogwarts once I've claimed all of Hogsmeade. Expect their patron! Golden Sun. I'll take it, thanks. I've got your back. Expect our patron. <laughs> Expulso! Expect a patron! Protego to top! Death Eater! Expect a patron! I'll let you die. Crucio! 
Spectre Patron. Golden Snake. Expecto Patron. Protego Total. Expecto Patron. Look at the nest. In flight. Expecto Patron. Death Eater. Expecto Patron. Akana Kakama! Spectre Patron! Protego Total! Spectre Patron! Inflatus! Expecto Patroni! Death Eater! I will be able to catch you up! Expecto Patroni! Expecto Patroni! Expecto Patron. Protego Total. Expecto Patron. Inflatus. Expecto Patron. Death Eater. Expecto Patron. You've got this. Curse! Expecto Patron. Expecto Patron. Protego Total. Expecto Patron. Inflatus. Expecto Patron. Death Eater. Imperial! I doubt everything's perfect for you at Hogwarts. Misunderstood. Distrusted. A fellow student you've clashed with, perhaps. A professor you thought was on your side. All the spells you've learned. And what do you use them for? Minding others' business? Defending those who don't even appreciate it? Was I right? Why keep trying when there's such turmoil in your heart? Just let go. The Scriven Shaft boy was as annoying as his father, 
Why struggle when life is stomping all over you? I certainly didn't. Not until I met my associates. But then again, not everyone is capable of walking amongst the Dementors. Azkaban is where he's headed. Once a thief, always a thief. That, and his family business, now belongs to yours truly. Enough about him. This is my moment. Hogsmeade, a place that once looked down on me, will soon be mine. As soon as I take care of you lot. <sighs> uh, this emotion. It's as if my heart is swelling. It's here, the moment I've been waiting for so long. Oh, the joy. W wait, what are you doing? This isn't how it's supposed to be. Sweets and toys were luxuries I never had during my childhood. A child from a humble family deserved no such indulgence. I had nothing. But then life gave me something no one else has. A pact with a Dementor. I faced these fearsome creatures three times and emerged unscathed. While my opponents were not so fortunate. Hate seethed within me. Festering like a wound that could never heal. Only one thing mattered. The fortune that I worked tirelessly to amass. And now, I am the wealthiest of them all. I'm never going to hurt anyone ever again. Expecto Patronum! I did it! I cast the Corporeal Patronus! See? I told you that you could do it. Mr. Potter, thank goodness you're here. It's Midas Golvig. He's... I know. Miss Warrington filled me in. Thank you, Mr. Potter. I wouldn't have managed it if the Dementor hadn't turned on Midas at the last minute. Strange. It would seem that Mr. Golvig misunderstood Dementors. I suspect that these evil creatures might sometimes overlook victims numbed by immense pain. Like Golvig himself. I see. When my Patronus faded, Midas believed victory was within reach. He must have felt something then. Something powerful. And that's what led the Dementor to him. What we have is speculation at best. For now, let's get you kids back to Hogwarts. Professor McGonagall must be worried sick. You're back! You've been out nearly a week. We were starting to worry McGonagall had expelled you for stealing that sword. I thought the same when I turned myself in. Guess the sob story must have worked since she only gave me two months of detention. Indeed. Scrubbing the entrance hall floors with a muggle toothbrush feels like cruel and unusual punishment. So, how's your father? He woke up the other day. That's why I was out. I was visiting him in St. Mungo's. He's still in rough shape, but the healers expect him to make a full recovery. That's great news, Winchy. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of effort and hard work. Not two of my favorite things, I must admit, but for the first time in a while, I'm actually hopeful about the future of our family and Scriven Shafts. Of course, don't think I've forgotten who helped make that possible. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Which, as you might expect, isn't a state I like to be in, so... I've thought of something you might enjoy. Is it a lifetime discount at Scrivenshofts? Well, my dad's still running the family business now that he's back, but I'll likely take over once I graduate. Meanwhile, I hope you'll enjoy being characters in my latest story. That's great. Have you started writing again? Sort of. Our adventure was really inspiring. Midas too. He'll make a fascinating antagonist in my story. Sounds wonderful. Should we be looking for a copy at Flourish and Blots anytime soon? 
The ink's still drying on my manuscript, and it'll take some time to revise. But keep your eyes peeled. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode.